Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Garza. I'm James Workshop. But together we are Modeling for Advantage. We're not actually doing any modeling at all. No modeling is required. Only advantage. Only advantage, only advantage. So we have got what I seem to recall is wave eight here, all four of them. And this was an interesting one that I thought to look at because these are all artillery. Mm. So this is a new uh, component within the game. Mm. Be interesting to see how it's going to model that. We're going to unpack them one at a time, compare them. We're going to like savage because uh, we haven't even taken the staples out. He's like a bunch of pros. So what are you going with first, James? I have got a priest. You got a priest. I need a priest. I need a priest. And I'll fight with the sexton. Oh, who's in first? In. It's James. Ooh. 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 We've got new rules. Ooh. Oh. Have you got a stunned card? We've got new rules, mate. All right. All right. <laughs> so. Repairable. Repairable. From the beginning. What have we got in here? We've got your usual do for card. Says uh, play flames or um, play. World of Tanks. World of Tanks. Playing the tanks of action. Yeah. Um, and then we've got our upgrade cards, our unit card, and our little stunned a code on marker. Me, hmm? They put a code on them. They, they do. Are you, are you giving away people freebies, James? Am I not allowed? Yes. Oh, please buy this at Modeling <laughs> No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I'm not going to repackage them and sell them. So uh, we're going to start with yours then. Okie dokie. Yeah. So we'll look at the look at the card and stats, and then we'll have a, yeah. a, 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 a gander at the model, and then uh, we'll we'll do the one I've got. So you've got the priest. I have a priest. Yeah. So we've seen this before. This is the USS the M7 mm -hmm. priest. Uh, the it's actually saw service here, British forces. I'm not sure whether there was any lend lease ones. There may well have been. Maybe it's it's made quite widely mm -hmm. because these are pre-built, pre-assembled, and primed for us. Then put the crew figures in these. No, and there's no MG upon my Capola. Either. And there's no MG on the Capola, but it's it's a serviceable vehicle. Definitely. And certainly, if you just do well the tanks play, and you're not yes. you're not bothered about that. No um, MG on this card either, so <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. And that nothing much. that could be injured by an MG in this game. Not in the slightest. So tell us what what, what can we glean from the card? Okie dokie. So we have firepower six, mm. mobility two, survivability nil point. <laughs> Absolutely none. And one initiative. And what? One. One initiative. Oh no. Wow. If all for the grand cost of 25 points. Is that because the hit points are as bad as the survivability? Where are my hit points? Three. Hit points three. three. Nearly as low as it goes. Or the lowest I've ever seen. So these are interesting, aren't they? They're very, very low points mm. cost. Very high firepower. Yes. No survivability. None. A whole bunch of crew positions as well. Uh-huh. It is an SPG. An SPG is a self-propelled gun. Yep. Which um, means other tanks do not block this tank's line of sight. So the way that they've modelled indirect fire mm -hmm. is you can't fire over hills or over buildings mm -hmm. or anything like that. But you can fire over other tanks. Right. Which in its game... Mm. There isn't any other really low scenery mm. that matters. It's a mm. game where you have hills, buildings, <laughs> destructible <tanks>. walls, and <laughs> other tanks. Yeah. And it's saying you can shoot over other tanks. So, okay. Uh, th and that, seem that seems fine. If you're playing on a more dynamic board like we tend to, yep. you might be thinking, hmm, the indirect fire should be a bit more generous than mm. this. Uh, but it's not a true line of sight type game. Right, yep. Because um, the board's supposed to be totally flat. It is, yes. <laughs> with a few lumps on it. Literally a kitchen table. Yeah. So it is also an assault gun. Mm -hmm. Please refer to rulebook page eleven. So that's the the, the restricted firing arc thing. Yeah, restricted line of sight and a fixed mm. field of fire. Also high explosive rounds. Yeah, so that's another reason why it's so incredibly cheap. Yeah, so discard all crits before assessing damage. I'm yes. Assuming, yeah. So the way high explosive tends to work is you get a whole bunch of dice, mm -hmm. but all crits are failures. Right. Right. Yeah, that's not great. <laughs> no, but 25 points for six fire A very small number of points. Mm, though. Probably some cards mm. that make that go somewhere. Yeah, so cards that you've got then. Okie dokie. Do you want me to read the flavour text? For, oh, give them the flavour text, M7 James. Priest, everybody, in case yeah. you don't know. Manufactured on the suspension of the M3 and M4 tanks from April 1942 through March 1945, with a total of 4,316 vehicles produced, the M7 Priest first saw combat at El Alamein. Mm. El Alamein being a British battle. Oh, very yeah. interesting. Yeah. No, we had a, we had a lot of them. We until did. Until <laughs> this, which I'll get to when yeah. we finish. 
Um, right. So, in terms of the cards, then, yeah. you can do the generic ones and then any national specific ones. Three stunned cards. Yes, and, and I've got that in mind, so there's going to be something right. on that. Who's American? These two are American. Okay, so I have light heat shells. Light heat shells. Interestingly, I've got one of these too. Right. Uh, tank with high explosive and six or less firepower. Discard to use minus one firepower and lose the high explosive roll. Oh, that's pretty good. For one whole point. For one whole point. It is ammo, and it, so it will be expended. Yeah, well, yeah, but it turns this into a 26.5 power 5. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Just for a turn. <laughs> absolutely. And it's on your point. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Cool. It's, it's certainly situationally, definitely. I have burst HE shells, which I'm assuming you also have. Yes, I've okay. got the burst HE shells. Interesting. So is an ammo upgrade? Yeah. Discard it to use. Uh, discard an uncancelled critical hit. Apply a stunned critical token to the target tank. And each tank within, within close range and line of sight of the target tank. So within close range and line of sight, and a tank, <laughs> you put a stunned counter on it. So a stunned counter on it is minus two initiative. It can be cancelled by a large first aid kit and, and it's, is repairable. It's repairable. Yeah. So this is a, a, like a crit, you know, yeah. this is a status effect right. that's happening. So if you fire that round after you've made a hit an attack mm -hmm. roll and you've got a critical hit that would go through yeah you can choose to have this result it. instead mm -hmm. and the reason you might want to do it is because you're going to put a stun marker on every tank within an arrow mm. of the target mm. so it's potentially a big splat zone yeah definitely especially early on in the game interestingly yeah. enough yeah mm -hmm. okay so that's cool and again, it's in that, but I'm guessing it's in the other two boxes as well, because it's a new thing. My last generic card is Requesting Fire, a radio module. Same again? Uh, hey, yeah. Okay. So it costs seven. Oh, that costs three, by the way, the burst HE shell. <sighs> so one use, three points. Seven's a lot. Yeah. So Requesting Fire is seven points. It's a radio module. So you need a radio operator for it, which mm. this one does. Uh, plus one initiative during the shooting phase for self-propelled guns. When shooting, this tank may draw line of sight to a target from another friendly tank. Ah, so this is ah. this is another tank can be a spotter for you. Yeah, that's really good for some of the heavy tanks. That'd be pretty great. It's seven points, but... Uh, and so this can only go on self-propelled guns. Oh, it can. But Sorry, what you're yeah. doing is, is this is allowing you to hide it at the back of the board. Mm -hmm. And any of your other tanks, they don't need this. He needs this. Yeah, and yeah. a plus one initiative as well. And a plus one initiative. Yeah. But you're on one. Yeah, you're probably so on So you're probably not benefiting very much from that. <laughs> and I'm on initiative two now. Mm -hmm. But I can see why that, because these are the kind of rules that are suddenly starting to make these, hang on, maybe these are as good mm -hmm. as other tanks mm -hmm. now. So it's a lot to pay, but potentially it is, yeah. worth it. So then you've got two national specific ones. two national specific cards. So okay. I have a 105 millimeter howitzer M2A1 for a single point. It is another plus one initiative. <laughs> right. And it can only go on the priest. Yeah, yeah. It's it's an upgunned one. Yeah, it's an upgunned. So it's just initiative, though. No power or anything, because it's mm -hmm. already fly power six. I then have the wonderful Andrew Hetfield. Oh, yeah. As a character. Five points for situational awareness. Another radio operator. Situational awareness uh, plus two to initiative. So if you paid for everything here, it'd be initiative five which is still not great. <laughs> <laughs> and then firefighting, so you can re-roll a failed repair roll when repairing an engine fire. Now, an engine fire is what's going to kill you often in this game. Yeah. Because it's a point of damage a turn unless right. you make the roll. And that's a five-point commander. It's a five-point commander. Two unique, initiative. Unique crew. Two initiative and re-roll an engine fire. Five points. I, on a big tank, I think that's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't you're, put that on this. The more you're spending on a tank, the more worth it that becomes. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, cool. So what do you have for me over there? What I've got over here is the Sexton 2. So this is kind of the British equivalent of the Priest. I think this has got a 25 pounder in it rather than a, an else? American 105. Right. <laughs> so this is five power is five. Yep. Mobility two, survivability zero, and initiative one. Okay. Those stats are the same. Same, right? yeah. Three hit points. Yep. Six crew positions. Yep. 22 points. Why is it cheaper? <laughs> uh, because I've got one less five power. Oh, you do, sorry. Five power I've got five. Five power six. Yeah. It's got the self-propelled gun rule, mm -hmm. the assault gun rule, it's got the high explosive rule. So, if you were playing as we tend to play, yep. which is that sort of national specific, generally platoons mm. from a particular army, then this has got a role. 
because that's what you're going to get as British. Yeah. But you can use a priest. Uh, the British yeah. use priests as well. Yeah. So what was the point of the difference is on 22? That's 25. 25. Would I pay three points for a five power dice every day of the week? Yeah. Five power dice. They're, power. They're, they're the hardest to find anything to do anything about. Mm. Um, and with this one, you're fishing for a crit, aren't you? Yes. Although you also cancel a crit. <laughs> you discard crit. No, but, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm assuming you would only be using these right, yeah. if you're actually planning on using these HE shells. Yeah. If you're not planning on using these um, these burst HE shells to pass out these stuns, yeah. because the crits are ignored, then they just never do anything, mm -hmm. I don't think. And the light HE shell as well, which, yeah, for a point, you might as well. Yeah, yeah, for, for a point. Yeah. Um, so, would, yeah, would I, would I use this one instead of that one? I don't think so. No, me neither. I don't think so. No. Unless the cards say otherwise. Unless I can't say otherwise. Well, I have three cards which is the same as yours. Yep. Um, it was when you got down to your first crew position. Mm -hmm. So not your national... You, oh, no, you had the unique gun. I had a big boy gun. So I've got a, I've got a named commander, and then I've got a generic one in the place of your right. national-specific gun, uh, which is Eagle Eye, which is a, a common enough card. It's a five-point commander. When shooting this tank, may roll one less attack dice and then modify a hit to a crit. And then so, crits uh And then crit well crits for anybody are magic, yeah. but they can be especially magic if you're planning on doing right. something else. So this is a near guaranteeing at least one crit. Uh, when does assessing damage happen? Discard all crits before assessing damage. Yes. Right, okay. Assessing damage? Yeah. Is that that's what I'm saying is does, does that cancel out that card? Does that cancel out this card? When shooting this tank may roll one less attack dice. No. Okay. So is it shooting? When I'm shooting. Then see what dice you have, then assess damage. Mm. So then it probably would cancel out that card. I've got my magic head on. It's a nice card. <laughs> I'm just trying to work out where this would happen. That turns a dice into a crit. Yes. And this turns all crits into nothing. That's only for you firing. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Turns all crits into nothing for the purposes for of damage. assigning damage. Yeah. This is when this is when assigning damage. Yeah. This is not when... Right, so if I've got a, a number of hits and crits yeah. in my roll, yeah. and you've got a number of hits and crits in yours, mm -hmm. we still pair all of that off, mm -hmm. and you have to deal with that, mm -hmm. then what's remainder goes on to assessing damage. Yes. So that's shooting. Yeah. Assessing damage is about what's remaindered. Okay. So you would want, if you got a crit whilst from the rolls, you'd still get the effect. Mm -hmm. Okay. As, f as far as I understand it. Right. But I also fundamentally believe that these cards are intended to be enabling. Yeah, normally, yeah. 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 As, well, for what's in the box. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, so you got a five-point commander of some kind, by the way? So that was a five-point commander. Yeah. And then there's, a, then there's a British national specific eight point, eight point commander mm. what I do like about these commanders is they ha they they're just combinations of generic rules mm. they just have two crew positions in one mm -hmm. and sometimes those crew positions are going to work well for you yeah. so this guy malcolm pride is a loader uh he's got safe storage which is plus one initiative in the shooting phase and you can discard him to cancel an ammo damage critical hit, which I believe is a three damage crit. Oof. Okay. Uh, so you can toss him out out, out of the ejection port, <laughs> shell ejection port, rather than the shells. Mm -hmm. um, and he's also got intuition, which is at the beginning of the shooting phase, discard an ammo upgrade card to gain plus six for the phase. So if you've got a really critical turn, but you'd need to be carrying ammo. Mm. Now, we tend to be pretty light on upgrades, but I think that's because we're fools. Probably, probably, yeah. Yeah, it makes the tanks less... It's also because we like to play simple games. <laughs> yes, it <laughs> definitely this, is. This is and I played when I have a pile of cards yeah. next to my tanks and I just forget them all. Yeah, exactly. Um, and the yeah. ammo cards are one use, so it's not like you can... Can you buy three and like yeah. keep them to one side? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not sure. Can you buy multiple copies of ammo cards? Not sure. I, sus I suspect that you can. I hope you can. That's really oh, good. So that was that was the first two. Cool. This this model, one of the reasons this model is interesting to um, uh, players though is that 
This model doesn't exist in Flames of War yet. Really? This has not yet been released. Oh. So uh, we can be pretty confident that we're going to get this yeah, in laughing. the upcoming British Bulge release, yeah, which is uh, Late War Flames of War stuff. But yeah, this is a, this is a new plastic kit for Flames wow. of War players. And presumably in the full kit, there is a Pintle Mountain Machine Gun and, 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 and a Ranger Crew. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, all crewless. They're all, they're all crewless. For a game piece. For, yeah, absolutely. And actually, the fact that they're pre-assembled is, is, quite, is quite handy. Mm. I do like that about them. Uh, your next one. I am. I'm onto things I know now. Oh, oh no, we both need to now we fight the box. Fight. Fight. fight the box. I've got to do it without disturbing. I think the yours microphone. is interesting again. Yeah, this reasons. is an odd one for, for these releases. SU-76. It's SU-76. A, it's a T-70 with a bigger gun. And they turned it backwards. It's <laughs> all it is. It's T-70 facing the wrong way. <laughs> yep. So um, the interesting part about this one is it comes with two, two cards. cards. Two tank cards. So the SU-76M, which is this one, not the I, which is different, and an SU-122A, which mm. I am uh, convincingly told it doesn't really exist. Fantasy, tra <laughs> fantasy vehicle. Yeah, so that's interesting. There is no SU-122A model. No, so the idea so, with the SU-122A, which mm -hmm. I, I didn't know anything about this no. vehicle, and I didn't even recognise like the number combination. No, I mean, In my mind, I couldn't conjure it up. So I had to go and go and Google it, look it up. Um, so this may be more to do with the World of Tanks thing. Yeah. This is a, somebody said, can you put a hundred that 120 mil gun on, yeah. on this, this little T-70 chassis? And they said, no. No. It don't fit. <laughs> Let's give it a go. No. <laughs> no, no, that's it how this works. <laughs> that's that. Um, I don't know whether it's because it's a thing in World of Tanks. Yeah. Um, an amount of work was done on this idea. Right. But it isn't something that I think even made its prototype stage. If, you know, if it did handfuls were ever made, mm. it wasn't practical. If they could fit a 122 mil gun on that biddy little thing in 1943, then yeah. then physics works different to what I was told me at school. May I remind you, it's a T-70. <laughs> Turned backwards. <laughs> with, with um, a, but yes, you sent it six stars. Yeah. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a nippy little vehicle. These were used extensively in Korea. They certainly were. Uh, for example, they were in service for quite a long mm -hmm. time. Usually the later ones, they've got a... Uh, Covered back, but I don't yeah. think that's anything more than a bit of tarp. No, it's not. No. <laughs> during, <laughs> during the war, they did an F SU-76I, which I think was Panzer threes that they converted with the 76. Mm. Which but the same idea. It's the same idea, yeah, but they had a roof on. Because <laughs> it was nice. a Panzer three. Roof. So, yeah. Rains yeah. a lot in the winter. <laughs> it does. Um, yeah, no, they were really preferred. Like the people who were trained on these could use the exact same gun, but with a roof now. <laughs> it's pretty. That's good. when you know you're an expert. So SU seventy six M. So yep. we have firepower four. Yeah. Which is not great, but mobility two, survivability zero, initiative three. <gasps> Ooh, oh, we, that's proper nippy compared to the rest of this. We lot. got a winner, um, and four hit points. It's a tank destroyer. It's not self-propelled artillery. Not a self propelled gun. So all for twenty-eight points. So what have you got? What have you got? A special rule on the back then. So it's got assault gun, restricted line of sight, and fixed field of fire, and then tank destroyer. So it does plus one. Is that armor penetration while in cover? No, it's armor plus armor. one armor. Right. So it's a survivability Games plus stat. one armor while in cover. Sorry. So yeah, yeah, plus one survivability. And it's not HE. Not HE. No, it's just an assault gun. It's the, it's the gun from a T-34 shooting at you like a T-34. Mm. <laughs> so it's the exact same thing. For a very similar points cost as well. Is it? What's the points cost on that? Uh, so this is 28 points. Which I think points. is the same as a T-34. T-34's got higher mobility yeah, and more hit points. It does. It's, it's, a, it's got the same firepower though. 28 points for four dice. Yeah. I'd do that. It's like all day long. Yeah. Oh, flavor text. Mm. Light vehicle with a 76mm gun, the most widely produced Soviet self-propelled gun. Okay. Yeah. Despite its weak armour and armament, this vehicle was used to support infantry and cavalry. Cavalry, mate. That's what you need in this game. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't check whether there was flavour text on my section. Oh, yeah, it's too small, though. Too I need small. my reading glasses for the <laughs> flavour text. Okay. Then the S20 to S122A. Oh, yeah. Right. It is assault gun and high explosive, the same as the other ones. Firepower. 
seven. Woo! Oof. Mobility two, survivability zero, initiative one. Four hit points. Four hit points. 30 points for five past seven. But is it AG? It's HE. Mm. <laughs> HE, assault gun, and SPG. Ooh, flavor text. A proposed SPG on the basis of the SU-76 that could be armed with the 122mm M30 or 152mm D1. <laughs> Both of which were extensively used by the Soviet Army. No yeah. prototypes were built. Oh, there you go. This is a completely fictional <laughs> tank. Yes. Well, that's a really it's, big gun on a bitty little tank. It is. Great in World of Tanks. And nowhere else. <laughs> and, and possibly... <laughs> Not I, mean, the real I, world. I, I was I was baffled by the fact that it was when I looked it up. It was something... Mm. That, that, that didn't exist on it or yeah you know in, in, it, the the decision to include it seems bizarre it's the two tanks from the isu which is the is chassis the is2 chassis with a giant gun <laughs> but instead they decided to make it on something that you could like it's the size of a land rover <laughs> yeah cool well there you go so Good. that's that that's the issue i never even heard of it but no. that's not surprising because it didn't exist. Mm. Uh, right. So cards, are, you, are cards. you like completely right? Completely different, separate set. Yeah. So I've only got four cards in this box. Right. Normally you get five. You do normally get five. Yeah. So obviously this. Counts Indeed, we've been getting six because we've been getting these unique tokens here. I feel like I've been ripped off right now. Five. Especially considering this model doesn't exist. <laughs> I had to make one. Oh, it's not a bad idea actually. Watch this space. So the cards. Uh, yeah. The generic cards first. So I've got heavy heat shells. Mm. which is a tank with high explosive and seven firepower or greater. So this tank... Yeah, you've got a <laughs> big H here. Yeah. Uh, minus one attack and loses high explosive for discard. Then, big gun. <laughs> when attacking, you may modify a uh, non-crit to a crit. Bear in mind you're doing that when you just... Mm -hmm. So this this can fire because I've got one of those on mine as well. Yeah. So th that vehicle can fire as a six dice regular shooter, mm -hmm. which is I think what you get out of like the seventeen pounder. And, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, for two points, and so forth for two points. Yes. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, and you can guarantee yourself a crit. Yeah. All right, next one. Okie dokie. So we have a mentor who is a basic crew commander. Oh, oh, a mentor. Plus two initiative in the movement phase for every two crew cards, including this crew card attached to this tank. Plus two initiative per two crew. Yeah, so this and another member of crew is plus two initiative. And then if you take another two crew after that, you get another plus two initiative. So if you've got one of these and these guys can have six crew. Yeah. So you could really pimp this ride. Yeah, you could get six additional initiative <laughs> for some But it'd reason. still be seven dice HE. Yeah. And occasionally six dice, not eight. Yeah, yeah. If you really want that, you could just use a firefly. Yeah, and it'd be initiative seven. Yeah, which is fine. <laughs> like it's high. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's that. That's good on other tanks. I don't think that's that great on this one. So there's a fifty-seven millimeter Ziz two for the Su seventy-six M. Ah, it's a gun. smaller gun. Uh, when attacking, you must modify crits to non crits for plus two initiative. Mm. Well, because it's a tank destroyer, so you can have no crits ever for plus two initiative and zero cost. <laughs> Weird, but okay. So why would you want that? Because you get the plus two initiative. You go up to initiative five for free, but you just never get crits. But if you're firing HE, the crits are discarded. Well, hey. it can only go on the 76. It can't go on the 122, which right. is a tank destroyer, not an SPG. Oh. So it doesn't... That doesn't even... That's a non-bow for nothing. Uh, <laughs> cool. So we have uh, an eight-pointer for a crew Ooh. card, another eight-pointer. So it's going to do something Is this real. a unique? This is unique, yeah. Sovietsky, bro. Yeah, yeah. So is the other one. So this is uh, Timur Trotian. Yep. Uh, so it is a unique crew member loader. Mm -hmm. It is the same as that other guy from England. Same as that other guy from England. Same stowage, plus one initiative during the oh, shooting yeah. phase. Yeah. Discard, Malcolm Pride, you mean? Yes, that guy. Discard to cancel uh, an ammo damage critical card and intuition at the beginning of your shooting phase. Oh, it's literally the same. Discard an ammo upgrade Same guy, card. different name. Uh, 
Is yours discard an ammo upgrade card to get plus six initiative? Yeah, what? Yeah. It's the exact same guy. Same guy in this Russian service. Timur. It's a double agent, mate. He is a double agent, yeah. Let's see if it's the same picture. <laughs> uh, look at Malcolm. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's no, not no. the same guy. That would have been a loss. Right, uh, last one for the Germans yeah, is the, the Germans. inarticulate. I thought this might move. This this is a new kit. It's not brand new to right. Flames of War. It's just come out recently, the, the Hummel. So this bad boy is an assault gun with high explosive rule, self-propelled guns. Firepower is seven dice. Seven. Mobility two, survivability zero, initiative one and four hit points. Okay. 30 points. 30 points. Does that match that? In every way. Yep. Yep, I don't know. Yep. It's the SU-122. But this is real. But it's real. With a model. <laughs> with, a, with a model. But there's a model of a real vehicle that mm. exists. <laughs> uh, so it's got the assault gun, high explosive rule, and it's got the self-propelled gun rule, yep. which is that that allows it to fire over intervening tanks. Mm -hmm. Uh, 30 points, solid. So this one came with requesting fire, which we'd had before. It came with a HE burst shell. It came with a heavy heat shell, mm -hmm. like you'd seen. It came with these stunned markers and then two extras. Um, one is the Maybach engine, which is plus two initiative in the movement phase Fine. for a point. Hell yeah. Yeah, but you're still only on three. <laughs> Hell yeah. And I think it's good money after bad. I honestly do. With that, there's a few tanks floating around in there that are uh, um, three. I think the T34 is three. Oh no, that's high. There's some other threes, but if you start matching them, it's better than nothing yeah. for one point. Because I think five, five is low. Five, five is yeah. It's, so you're yeah. paying points to get up to three. <laughs> yeah. Mm, on a vehicle that's got four hit points and no armor. But yeah, you might you might be right. You might be right. Certainly, <laughs> yeah. if you want to push the initiative on this for whatever mm -hmm. reason then that's useful to have. Yep. So Robert Block yeah. uh, is a gunner for 11 points. A lot of points in this guy. One is designated target. When yeah. shooting, the defending tank does not gain cover bonus if he's already shot in this phase or has a movement token. Or has a movement token. Yeah, yeah. So you can remove the cover bonus from somebody if they've moved or if they've already well, taken they've already shot. shot. Which on a low initiative tank isn't great, but on a high initiative tank is really good. Yeah, I mean, the chance of the vehicle, anything that this can see, hasn't yeah. shot is very, very yeah. little. Um, his other skill is Dead Eye, uh, which is draw two critical cards for the first critical hit scored each turn, sc scored by this tank each turn. Uh, the player chooses which of them to apply and discard the other. So when you do a crit, when you go to the crit deck, you draw two, pick the one you want. That's pretty good. It is 11 points. Definitely not for this vehicle. No. <laughs> I mean, the... So th that, that's those. Sorry, I th hopefully I did see the Hummel. It's quite a bit bigger than the others. It is, yeah. Um, it's based on it's based on a Panzer IV chassis. Right. Um, like so many of these vehicles, yeah. they're based on the chassis of, of other vehicles. But they've stretched it. There's actually another pair of wheels mm. in this. Okay. Another pair per side. But it's a stretched Panzer IV um, chassis. And I think it's 150 mil howitzer, hmm. which is why I've got such big numbers. Mm. So that, that was our look at them and some of the mechanics. Yeah. Um, so what do you think tactically, James? And it, would you would you take one of these? What would you do with it? The SU-76, I need to compare it with points for other stuff because my, my brain still has the points for tanks. The, yeah, yeah, <laughs> the, yeah, the previous version. version. Yeah. So I think that's lower than a T-34, but not by much. Mm. And the T-34 is a perfectly acceptable tank. Um, yeah, the additional cover is great if it had any in in the first place. Like if it had any survivability, mm. it's fine. It's fine. The SU one twenty two is yeah, not so fine. I don't think I'm okay with that. The firepower seven is extremely tempting, and then literally everything else that's written on the card says no, thank you. Yeah. So including the flavor text saying this is a fantasy tank. Yeah, no prototypes were ever built. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. Looking at the priest, I think the priest is a similar case. Um, the hit points three is a bit of a turn off, but for twenty five points, if you're playing a small point game, you could probably turn that into. You could either turn that into something worth having, or mm. free up points to make another tank more worth having <laughs> yeah. by taking the low point tank. I mean, that's one of the things I'd say about these: is these are all, these are all cheap. That mm. there may be a couple of vehicles that come in less than thirty points, mm -hmm. but they're very very few and far between. Mm. 
Um, and, and if you play 200, 250 points, this is likely to be a situation where this is an extra vehicle, mm -hmm. it's an additional vehicle. Mm -hmm. If that gives you some capability to stick a three hit point vehicle that's hidden somewhere yeah. on the table and can still shoot, mm. I think that that's that you know more power to you. Yeah, the um, the only way to make them really worthwhile is by spending an extra seven points on them and making them use someone else's line of sight. Uh, yeah, at thirty seven points or uh, thirty five points, I'm less accepting of this tank mm. overall. Yeah, so. Yes. It, the introduction of the light heat shells and the burst heat shells are kind of interesting. I wonder if they're going to use more um, similar things like that. And uh, add, add rules. Yeah, and add I mean, rules. The, you know, th this is this is definitely something that's not part of the original game design concept, mm -hmm. or they wouldn't be included in these stun yeah. cards. The heat shield shells can be used by anything as well. You could stick that on a whatever you like. Uh, the heat shield burst shell. Yeah, the heat shield burst shell is. There's no limitations on it. Discard to use. So stunned is available to every tank for three points. Oh. So that's interesting. Yes, because yeah. there, there are other vehicles that can take yeah. HGR. The light shells are not limited to anything except high explosives, so that's these at the moment. Mm. But yeah, I think that's that's a good card. Yeah. I mean, I can definitely see myself trying to put at least one of these in the list just to give me some, some cheap capability. Yes. Yeah. So, d tanks is a dice game, mm -hmm. and you can have six defense dice and one nothing. Yeah, yep. And Definitely. that's that's got a value. It's a classic game of sixes. Being able to <laughs> roll it is a classic game of sixes, <laughs> yeah. but being able to roll some dice in a turn, mm -hmm. you know, can make quite a difference. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I, I think I'd look I'd look to include them. Probably trying to push for the better ones. You know, giving up. So the Sexton is the cheap one at 22 points. The Hommel is the expensive one at 30. Mm. But you get two dice mm. is the, is, is the mm. difference. Two fire dice. Mm -hmm. um, and when you need to overwhelm the other guy's number of hits, not, yeah. not just total crits or something, it's starting to look a bit more, mm. a bit more difficult with a smaller number of dice. Yep. All right. We'll see. Hope you found them useful. It was our first kind of long, lo longer review of, it is, yeah. uh, of a shorties, World Attacks Wave. I mean, uh, I, quite, I quite enjoyed it. It was really nice to see the new rules. It anyway, was, yeah. Stand is cool. Bye. 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 If you enjoy World Attacks the Miniatures game, maybe you want to give it a try. You can buy the starter set from our online store, modelingforadvantage.co.uk. Thank you for watching. Okay.